Aaron, you can imagine the reaction folks have when they learned that a satanic group has adopted Seabright State Beach and are now charged with cleanup efforts there. Is this a joke? I'm not. No. Really? Uh, I mean, if they want to clean the beach, I'm all for clean beaches, so. It wouldn't bug me as much as somebody that's, you know, a, a more of an organization that's hurting other people or something like that. I think it's, it doesn't exist. You're making it up. We're not making it up. The marine conservation nonprofit Save Our Shores has set aside Seabright State Beach for the Satanic Temple Santa Cruz Religious Organization to oversee. They were enthusiastic and supportive. I sent in the application. It said the Satanic Temple Santa Cruz um, in the header, and she got back to me the same day. If you're worried about animal sacrifices or satanic rituals on the beach, church members say you have nothing to fear. Keeping the beach clean, their love for animals, and pride in the community is their motivation. There are a lot of misconceptions about Satanism. Um, we. One of our core tenets and beliefs is that one should strive to act with compassion and empathy for all creatures in accordance with reason. I mean, people hear the word Satan and they think, you know, pitchforks and, you know, sacrifices and stuff. And we're a bunch of people that work side by side with the rest of the community and we care about the community. And they the plan is to clean up Seabright Beach after the 4th of July celebration when trash and other debris is left to overflow onto the beach and into the water. At this time, they are undecided if they want others to join them. We kind of just want our members to um, do it this first round to kind of see what's going to happen. We, we don't know how we're going to be received. And we'll also be doing September 15th, which is International Coastal Cleanup Day. It's the largest volunteer event in the world for the environment. The group was only obligated to do three cleanups a year, but plan to hold more. Save Our Shores declined to comment for this story. Erin? All right, Phil, thank you. So on July 5th, they plan to be out at Seabright State Beach picking up trash and other debris, just like all of the other volunteers will be doing that day.